It is now emerging that tobacco farmers can help a great deal in solving food shortage by shifting to planting food crops. In Migori County, for instance, already 2,000 former tobacco farmers are now planting iron beans. Unapopanda mimea ya, ya kuleta chakula, utakuta ya kwamba, tayari utapata chakula cha binadamu, na pia unawezo kapata chakula cha mifugo, kama ni ngombe, na unapanda mahindi. Tobacco farming accounts for approximately 5% of total deforestation as it takes roughly one tree to make 300 cigarettes. Tobacco cultivation requires heavy use of pesticides which contribute to soil degradation. Na pia zinasombwa na maji na kuelekezo kwa mito ilio karibu. Sasa unakuta manadama kitumia maji hayo ni shida wanyama hawezi kutumia maji hayo. Further, an estimated 1.3 million children globally are exposed to harmful chemicals and nicotine. These children are employed in tobacco farms and are assigned duties such as mixing and applying pesticides, harvesting tobacco leaves by hand and sorting and classifying dried tobacco. Kama ni akina mama wakifanya kazi humo na ni wajawazito wana avia, watoto wanakuwa wagonjwa, unaona mutoto anatapika, ni kanakwamba na malaria, kumbe hana, wanauma na kichwa na kadalika. The World Health Organization says some governments make it easier for farmers to cultivate tobacco by providing direct and indirect subsidies, turning a blind eye to the many effects of tobacco cultivation and use. The International Institute for Legislative Affairs says Kenya is one such government in accordance to the Finance Bill 2023. It takes away and gives silence to some key aspects, removing inflation adjustment under Section 10 of the Excess Duty Act of 2015. Uh, while that may be popular to say it's best for the country, yes, for the healthy product, but the dangerous trend to ill health product like tobacco. Shifting from tobacco to food crop cultivation is projected to lessen tobacco consumption, improve food stock, place more students in schools, increase tree cover and reduce carbon dioxide emissions, ultimately improving climate change. Ben Kerera K24, Nairobi.